when I moved to Puerto Rico when I was 13, I brought that hip hop culture with me, man, that I adopted in, in 79, you know, in 78, 79, by my cousin named Pedro, man. He was a, a part of the Dynasty Up Rock crew in Brooklyn, legendary crew. Everybody know that know about Up Rock know about that crew. So I got into into this hip hop game as a Up Rocker, boom, and then became a boogie boy and graffiti artist. Came out here when I was 13 and 83, man, and forget about it, man, to this thing, to this same stomping ground right here. I understand you're deeply embedded in the cultural activism scene and helping yeah. the youth and uplift their condition. Yeah. If we don't work with the youth, we're wasting our time, bro. Mm. They, they, the, they the source. What you doing nowadays, brother? Man, um, nowadays um, I'm dedicated to doing videos, short films. Got a channel called Millimeter G Films. And besides that, man, I'm into artesanía. We take pieces of trees, pieces of the earth, and, and we make art with them. These are vintage Puerto Rican doors, you know, they're madera. And we got our Bisu Campo with the lightest flag on it, bro, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, it looks rustic. This right here is Afro Vejigante. I made this character up. We got sketches, drawings of it. Um, this is an Afro-Caribbean face. When you go to the islands, you see that they have Afro-Caribbean faces. Afro Vejigante. Tell them what you've seen it first, that's it.